honestly don't really know how to start out this video i was going over an intro last night but now i can't remember anything that i had in mind but i guess i'll start off by saying that for those of you guys who know me know that i have struggled with anxiety and have gone through episodes of depression for quite some time now years actually and even if you don't know me personally i think i've spoken about anxiety a few times here on my channel but i definitely speak about it a lot on my instagram i'm big on people finding resources for mental health and that's because i deal with my mental health and so i know what it feels like so just to give a little bit of background from 2020 I believe at the start of the pandemic up until the end of 2021 I felt like I was at my lowest with my mental health and lockdowns and being stuck in my house definitely added to that but specifically with depression there's different types I know some people deal with it constantly for long periods of time and there's other people like myself who are okay some days and other days are not so great and so i had been going through this constant cycle from 2020 until the end of 2021 and just to give a few examples of how it affected me personally was that i noticed i was no longer interested in things that used to excite me also just this past summer i lost weight over an abnormal time period i was still eating regularly but my weight just kept going down and also i've noticed that my memory has not been the greatest and memory loss is actually an effect of depression so when i noticed that all of these things were happening i said enough was enough and of course it's easier said than done but starting this year i started implementing some new habits into my daily routine so that my daily routines wouldn't feel so mundane and boring and some of them included exercising three times a week and i've actually been sticking to it so i'm proud of myself i have also been journaling a lot more and i also got this last idea from tiktok so i made this little jar where i'm going to be writing any wins or accomplishments that i make throughout the year in little pieces of paper and placing it in the jar and then at the end of the year i'm supposed to open them up and read them and see all that I accomplished so that I can remind myself that I am doing enough so I've been doing those things and I also went into this year with a more positive mindset but unfortunately during the last week of January I started noticing that my mental health was going down again and if you deal with mental health then you know how hard it is to see yourself doing better and then kind of hit rock bottom again because you don't want to go through that again and it's hard to come out of that mental state so I decided that for this week I'm going to be implementing five new habits into my days to help relieve some of that anxiety and not fall back into that mental state and I know it takes more than a couple of days it probably takes weeks months or even years but I personally struggle with sticking to something and being consistent and I feel like that definitely plays a part into why I go through these phases and so by doing this video for you guys I'm recording the process I feel like it'll help me stick to it so I actually got these five habits from Jess Conti she actually filmed a video a couple of months ago and so the five habits are that I'm not going to be using my phone an hour before going to bed and an hour after waking up I have noticed that when I'm on my phone and scrolling for hours on social media that my anxiety definitely gets worse. I want to have a calm morning routine. So this means that I have to wake up earlier because since I do work a 9 to 5 job, it's hard to find time to do stuff throughout the day. And once I'm done with work, I'm pretty tired and I don't feel like doing anything. So I want to wake up just a couple of minutes earlier so I have time to do my skincare, journal, and eat breakfast at a relaxed pace. The third habit is to clean up my space before bed. I am definitely someone that I cannot concentrate or be at peace if I see that my room is a mess. Number four, read before bed. So instead of scrolling on my phone, I'm gonna be reading a book before I go to bed. And I think there's no better timing than to start reading this book now. So this is the Purpose Driven Life, What on Earth Am I Here For? by Rick Warren. And I actually saw a couple of people talking about this book on TikTok. And the last habit is to limit decision making. So basically for this one, it just mentioned how a lot of people get anxiety from having to do like the minimal decisions. And I personally feel that because I overthink a lot of things. And so I'm going to be doing some meal prepping, but also making a to-do list every night before i go to sleep so i'm going to be bringing you guys along for the week and implementing these habits into my days and i'm going to be letting you guys know how i feel at the end of the week to see how much these habits affected my mental health so if you guys are interested make sure to keep watching
Alright guys, so a couple of hours have passed since the last clip. I worked up until 5 p.m. And then I actually went and did a little bit of grocery shopping. And now I'm actually going to start getting ready for bed. It's around 9.45. And so I put my phone down to charge. I haven't been using it as much today. And I've actually noticed that I don't feel that anxious. I also decided to drink a cup of tea this morning instead of coffee. And I'm someone who cannot drink a lot of coffee because it gives me anxiety. And so I think that has also helped me stay pretty calm throughout the day, thankfully. But I'm going to be putting some stuff away before I go to bed. that I want to put away because they've been sitting on that side of my room. First one is this order by Colourpop that came in over the weekend. And I ordered a few things from their Valentine's Day collection. So they released these blushes for Valentine's Day last year. But they unfortunately sold out too quick and so I wasn't able to buy some. I'm absolutely obsessed with the packaging of these. They're in a heart shape. How cute. This one is called Kiss and Tell. And this is like a mauve color. And the other one is called Flirt Alert. I love this one as well. And then I also bought this face stamp. It's heart shape. And then this lipstick. And it's this pink mauve color. When you see light, I tend to fade. With city lights in your space. And I don't think I'm ever gonna get it right. almost 8 55 i actually have not touched my phone this morning so i'm really proud of myself it hasn't been that hard not to go on it but i did my skincare had some breakfast and did my morning meditation and i actually made a coffee this morning i was planning on not making any coffee this week but i want to see if using my phone or drinking coffee has the bigger effect on my anxiety so i'll probably make coffee once or twice this week but i have already clocked into work and started working a bit so i'll get back to you guys once i'm done with work today i'm going to do some meal prepping i'm going to exercise so there's a few things that i want to do so i finished work a couple of hours ago actually and i had some dinner and now i'm actually gonna cook for lunch for tomorrow so i found this recipe on tiktok i'll put it right here but basically it's a pasta salad and it has chicken bacon lettuce tomato a lot of veggies so let's go ahead and do that Cause when you see light, I tend to fade With city lights in your space And I don't think I'm ever gonna get it right I'm drowning underwater And you're just making it harder Need to let you go and find myself Cause I keep on falling And you're the one So I finished cooking. It actually took a lot longer than I expected. But as you guys can see, I changed. I'm actually going to do 30 minutes of exercise. And I'm going to be reading this book while I do my exercise. I'm 
officially ready for bed and I actually did everything on my to-do list except for two things so those are gonna be added onto tomorrow's to-do list which I'm about to do right now and earlier today I was thinking how I should rate my days and I didn't do it yesterday but yesterday had to be an 8 out of 10 today was more of a 6 out of 10 which might seem a bit low and honestly there wasn't anything wrong that made me feel this way but for some reason i was in my head a lot and that's the reality of anxiety you can start your days off in a very high note and out of nowhere it will just hit you and you'll have a panic attack so again there wasn't really anything that triggered me today but it just wasn't as great as yesterday but overall it wasn't too bad i actually didn't have much to clean or pick up in my room today i just kind of looked around to see what i could pick up and put away or organize and i also set out an outfit for tomorrow which goes along with reducing anxiety by planning ahead so yeah i'm actually gonna try to get some sleep now so i'll see you guys tomorrow guys i am now on my lunch break and i thought i'd show you guys what i ended up making yesterday so here is the pasta salad and it has chicken a little bit of bacon and a bunch of vegetables but i decided to do some cleaning and organizing around my room earlier today to write down some of my thoughts regarding to the question for today and then I'm actually gonna edit my video for a little bit and I already set my phone aside because it's a little past 10 and I'm planning on going to sleep around 11 30. it looks like I'm gonna be working a little bit late but that's only because I really have to edit Friday's video ready for bed I changed into my pajamas washed my face and did my skincare and I'm only gonna be reading my Bible tonight because it is a bit late and I'm tired but overall I would have to rate today a 6.5 out of 10 it wasn't a great day, but it was still better than yesterday, so that's progress. And let's just hope that tomorrow is an even better day. day today is friday and i woke up this morning and i did my regular morning routine i did my skincare had some breakfast and i made some tea today since i had coffee yesterday i wanted to take a break so i'm definitely going to be sticking to doing only two or one cup of coffee a week it's about to be 8 30 and so i'm about to clock into work I have not touched my phone at all this morning. It's definitely been a peaceful morning. But I was looking back at past footage and I realized that I didn't talk to you guys at all yesterday. That wasn't intentional. My day was pretty similar to the rest of the days. You know, during the week I do my morning routine and then I sit here for eight hours and work. And after work, I'm pretty tired and exhausted and don't really feel like doing anything. However, the difference was that yesterday I was productive and busy, which is why I didn't have time to talk to you guys. But I did do some cleaning and organizing yesterday after work. And since my room was pretty clean, I actually cleaned my bathroom. I washed the toilet and then I cleaned down the sink. And then afterwards, I honestly just spent hours editing the video that will be going up today because it wasn't done yet. And I just wanted to make sure that it was ready and set for today. 
today and overall i have to give yesterday a seven it honestly wasn't too bad and since i was productive i feel like my mood was higher but yeah i'm really excited that today is friday and i don't have to repeat this routine again which can be very mentally exhausting so now i just have to get through today and i'll catch up with you guys after i'm done with work so i finished up with work a couple of hours ago and i've honestly just been laying here in bed i'm gonna be doing my nightly cleaning organizing pickup and once again my room is actually pretty clean so i don't have much to pick up but i did do some laundry so i'm gonna go ahead and put that away and see what else i find up and I also changed my little letter board and I always like to put a quote that's motivational so that I have it there to look at and it kind of stands as a reminder for this upcoming week I have what is mine will find me just because I feel like I'm always stressing and worrying about the future and so this will remind me to just let things flow and let God do his thing and I shouldn't stress out about things that I cannot control so I'm actually going to be doing a self-care night I'm going to do my skincare read some books so I hope you enjoyed this montage of the rest of my night and I would have to rate today an 8 out of 10 since it is a Friday I've been in a much better mood and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow to do a quick overview and give you guys feedback so yeah enjoy this montage sit down and let you guys know how my week went so as you guys saw some days were better than others and for someone who deals with anxiety that's kind of how my life has been for the most part so the point of this video was to help one or two of you guys feel like you guys are not alone and that you're not the only one who is dealing with anxiety or depression or to possibly encourage you guys to follow one of these habits to improve your mental health so overall i feel like i definitely woke up in a much better mood after not using my phone before going to bed and not using it right when i wake up so i'm definitely going to continue following that i also really liked and enjoyed the idea of picking up something before going to bed because that way i felt like i had a clean space and i'm someone who cannot focus or function in a space that's disorganized or messy reading a book before bed is something that i'm also going to continue to do because as i mentioned in one of my previous videos it is my goal to read a new book every month after planning ahead doing my to-do list the day before really helped me go into the day with the mindset that i knew what to expect for that day so yeah overall i feel like if i continue to follow these habits in the long run i'll be able to notice a difference because like i said i still had some low moments throughout the day this week and from personal personal experience I've come to learn that my anxiety and depression is really affected by my mindset so I know it's hard having a positive mindset all the time but if you really try to see the good side of things and know that everything happens for a reason and that can really change your whole world around that's what I've noticed and it's not easy it's hard for someone who lives in a city like Chicago I definitely deal with seasonal depression so from September up until like February I go through these depression episodes and that's six months so that's half of the year which can honestly feel really heavy I'm honestly super excited for spring to come I can at least do some laps around my block every morning or sit outside in my backyard and read a book if you have the ability to change up your routine so it doesn't feel so repetitive and mundane I would definitely recommend doing that as well but yeah that's it for this week's video I really hope you guys found it helpful and that you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you're notified when my next video goes up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye